Okay, how do you get your first fight? The short answer is, you don't. Your trainer should be getting your fights. Even when you get on a professional level, you, you don't want to be negotiating on your own behalf as far as fights goes. You're always going to come from a much stronger point of negotiation when someone else is doing it on your behalf. And when you first start out, you don't know all the ins and outs of it. And to be honest, I hate generalizations, but promoters are generally slime balls. So it's, it's really something that you don't want to have to, 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 it's really a headache that you don't want to, have to push yourself through at the same time that you're worrying about training and preparing for the fight. Now, so the real question is, how do you convince your trainer that you're ready for a fight so that they can get you a fight? The short answer is, you train like you're already training for a fight. Before you even ask the person, before you even ask your trainer for a fight, you need to be training six days a week, a minimum of six days a week, um, and in the gym for those six days, not just you know jogging on three or four days and coming to the gym the remainder of the days. In the gym six days a week, and then doing your extracurriculars, your running, your uh, your 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 extra pad work, your extra sparring, all that on top of your regular training. And when you've been doing that consistently. Then you go to your trainer and you say, I'm interested in, in taking a fight. What do I have to do to get ready? And when you do that, if you, when your trainer sees you preparing the way you're supposed to be uh, preparing, and he knows that you, you've expressed interest in fighting, he's going to try to get you a fight. 